Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of balancing a budget. This is standard 5.10F in the great state of Texas and this is a part of the personal financial literacy strand. We are using item number 22 off the 2016 release star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So, Nancy has expenses and income shown in this chart. So we've got them right here, expenses and income. Now, expenses, this is money that's being sent out. This is money you are spending. Income, this is money that you are bringing in. So that is, uh, easy way to remember that is in for income. And so she has a budget but she needs to maintain at least a balanced budget. So that's what we're looking at here. She wants to buy some music online, so she wants to add something right here. She wants to add a music line right here into her expenses. There we go, let's put it on the right side. Music online. But she doesn't know how much money she can spend. So this idea of a balanced budget really is kind of coming from this idea of the balance that we would play with in science class. And what we're looking for is, in this case, we're looking for your expenses. That's your money out. We want that to match our income. We want it to be equal. That is a completely balanced budget, is when those two are equal. If you're going to be unbalanced, it's okay to have your income be a little bit more than your expenses, but it's not good to have the opposite, your expenses to be greater than your income, because then you're using credit cards or borrowing money or something to make up the difference, and that's not good. So let's see what uh, we have here in uh, our clothing, our food, our movie tickets. So far, she's got expenses of $1640 is 100 30 that's 130 All right, so she's got expenses of 130. And then her income, doing quite a bit. So good for Nancy. So we've got five and five is 10. It's gonna add these up here. Let's see, we've got four, that's nine, that's 11, that's 140. All right. So she has 140 in. So like we said, it's okay to have your income be a little bit more than your expenses. So quite honestly, her budget kind of looks like this. It's a little bit imbalanced, and that's fine, because this is her expenses, but it's not as big as her income. Now, she wants to have a balanced budget, and she's wanting to spend some money on this online music well, then what are some different options? What is the greatest amount? She doesn't have to spend all of that money, but what is the greatest amount of money that she can spend on music in order to make a balanced budget? So let's look at our options here. So if she were to spend an extra 10 bucks to her music online, so let's just take her expenses, right? So that's the 130. Let's just add these different things. So if we add $10, that's going to get us $140. That is her income is $140. So that would make a balanced budget, which means that is that works. Let's see. Her expenses are $130. What if she wants to add $35? Whoa. I have a feeling that's going to be too much. And that's ooh, 165. Yeah. 165 is expenses, but 140 is income. That is no good. So that's not going to happen. H, 140. Uh, we're just going to say no on that one. That's way too big. Five would work, but five only gets you to 135. And that's going to be too small. We want the greatest amount. So our answer here is F. 